Yes, this, um, sorry, is this a Dunraven study? This is an answering machine. <laughs> sorry. Um, this is the candidate. I have, I have a one o'clock appointment. Um, I'm just running a few minutes late. My cat swallowed a sewing needle, so I, but I'm on my way. Anyway, I, I will be there in 10 minutes. <laughs> sorry, coming. Hello? Hey, hey, sorry, um, I had to step out for a second. Can you just sign in on the computer? Can you look directly into the camera and verbally acknowledge that you're engaging in the study of your own free will? Uh, yes. Sure. I need you to say it. I verbally acknowledge that I am engaging in this study of my own free will. Cool, cool. Okay, great. Um, I'm just gonna ask you a few quick questions. Yeah, okay. Age? 23. Focus of study? Um, human psychology. I have a minor in... Favorite color? It, uh... What's your mother's maiden name? Covalo? What's the make and model of your first car? Hon Hon Honda. C Civic. Relationship status? Uh, I'm single, but... Why are you here? Uh, Professor Watkins gave me this flyer. It said, um... um not so sure that's true. What do you do? I'm a graduate student. I... False. I'm not lying. I just... I'm not sure what you want me to do. Just clue me in. I... I solve. I like solving. Complicated problems. Pushing myself. Past my limits, I guess. Great! Thanks! The room's ready. You can go right in. Here? My name is P.A. Chapeau. If you had told me six months ago that I'd be on the run, playing whistleblower to a conspiracy that affects every living human being on the planet, I wouldn't have believed you. There's a lot to tell you, but for now, I'll keep it simple. Ingress is not a game, and the world around you is not what it seems. There is a question that no one wants you to ask, so ask it. What happened at the Niantic Project? Have we started? What happened at the Niantic Project? Have we started? Hello? What is this study about? Oh, sorry, wrong video. Here you go. This should answer most of your questions. Some time ago, an American intelligence agency that works in fringe science called the NIA formed a think tank to study a recently discovered quantum phenomenon, exotic matter, XM. They called this think tank the Niantic Project. It didn't end well. The Niantic Project created a scanner, what you now know as Ingress, to detect and harness XM. The XM scanner leaked and started spreading. They managed to cover it up by disguising it as a game called Ingress. So Ingress is a cover up? Two researchers, Deborah Bogdanovich and Roland Jarvis, tried to escape. NIA security forces caught up with them in Zurich. Bullets were fired and lives were lost. And now there are dead people. Are these actual dead people? I'm just not really clear about what the study is about. What is it that you want me to, to do? Sorry, is this a study about the game or what happens when we think games are real, like video game violence stuff? The room is really cool, though. Who 
is Hank Johnson? Is that what it is? I need to help Hank Johnson? Um, did you put this on my phone? This week's payment has been deposited into your account. Oh, are, are we done? Wow, that's... I think you got the amount wrong. I don't know how you got my account or the... Um, the, the decimal place is in the wrong point. No, that's the correct amount. Will we be seeing you next week? Yeah. I, um, sure. I will... I will be back. <laughs> and I can, um... Am I gonna meet you? Welcome, Welcome back, back, Wendy. Oh, hi. I brought you coffee. I, I, I don't, don't drink, drink coffee, coffee, but that's, that's very nice. nice. Thanks. Thanks. Would anyone back there like it? Because if you don't drink it, then I have to, and trust me, nobody wants that. Taking that coffee would require entering the observation chamber, which is not possible at this time. The observation chamber. That's cool. So, um... What's on the docket for today? Do you believe that an important moments in history may have been altered to conceal a hidden truth? Yes. I think they lied to me in Sunday school. I think that Jesus and Mary Magdalene had a kid in secret and that their descendants are still living among us today. That's, That's funny, Wendy. But it's also the plot of the Da Vinci Code. code. It, it is a good example of what I'm talking about. A myth, myth created to hide a secret. secret. It's my favorite book. But I think it's a stretch if you're saying the whole world is like that. Perhaps. Please, Please direct, direct your attention, attention to the remote on your left. Are the symbols supposed to mean something? It's, it's a, a test, test of your intuition. intuition. I like the more complicated squigglies. Then, then use, use them. them. Science is only just beginning to uncover why certain places have a special hold on us. And one of the leading theories is that these places contain portals, sources of a mysterious form of quantum energy called exotic matter, or XM. Now, some evidence suggests that exotic matter contains a signal, a signal that's been affecting humankind for all of recorded history. What evidence, you ask? Prime artifacts, mysterious objects of antiquity, infused with XM. What if I told you that finding these artifacts was the real reason for Alexander the Great's military campaign in Asia. Alexander of Macedon is remembered as one of the most successful military commanders to have ever lived. But some scholars believe that his real agenda was finding these 21 prime artifacts, objects which, legend has it, held a key to immortality. So that's Hank Johnson. We're, We're done, done for today, today Wendy. Wendy. Oh, um, okay. Thank you for the, I assume that was you depositing. Bye. I think the door is locked. The lights are off? Hey, this is not funny. This is not funny, I don't like being locked in here, please. Can you please open the door, please? Please, this isn't funny, please. Can you just... I-I-I-I-I-I-I'm uh, so, I'm so sorry. sorry. There, there was, was a momentary glitch in our system. system. Your, Your blood pressure and, and heart rate should return to normal soon. Sorry. What's that you're writing, Wendy? Oh, I'm trying to document our process a little bit. See, first, you show me some bizarro 
info dump <laughs> video, and then I ask you questions about it, and then you answer in a vague, cryptic, somewhat off-putting way, and then I leave, more confused than when I got here. That is, if the door isn't locked, because if it is, then my bones will probably be discovered by future generations of archaeologists. Oh, and the pay is nice, so. Pretty simple, I suppose. Nothing about this project is simple. Oh, so if I leave and never come back, it'll really screw you over, huh? Is that what you want to do? Please press as many or as few glyphs as you'd like and redirect your attention to the monitors. I am Dr. Oliver Linton Wolf lead technology researcher for the Niantic project and creator of the Ingress Exim scanner. Nothing about exotic matter is random. It contains what I can only describe as a signal, ordered data. This indicates a high likelihood that Exim is directed by some form of exogenous intelligence. For the record, exogenous was not on my SIT word list. Not, not of this place. Exim is not the only means by which they've chosen to communicate with us. These otherworldly messages also come to us in the form of glyphs, a kind of universal language that speaks directly into the subconscious. Some glyph messages date back to the dawn of humankind, and we now suspect that the secrets the glyphs conceal have sent some civilizations soaring to unimaginable heights, while sending still others cascading to ruin. There is one more video, but it is not for the faint of heart. You're gonna show me something not safe for study. necessary if you're to understand the concept of recursion. I think you should find a new candidate. I'm done. Just if the door is locked, also, you won't just need a new candidate, you'll need a new observation chamber. So just Um, this is Wendy from Cognitive Neuroscience last semester. I just I wanted to talk to you about that study that you told me about, the um, Dunraven project. I guess I was just kind of wanted to find out if you knew anything more about it or you had any more information. I'm just, um, yeah, so I'm happy to come in during your regular office hours. Um, okay, uh, thank you. Bye. 
Professor Watkins, this is Wendy again. Yeah, so um, I just haven't heard back from you, and I'd still really like to touch base about Jen Raven. It's just, I don't know, the study doesn't really make sense. They have these crazy videos they're showing me, and they're starting to seem less crazy, but I mean, if you could please call me back when you can. It, it, it's Wendy. Uh, thank you. Bye. Hi, Professor Watkins. Um, this is Wendy again, and I really do need you to call me back. It's just I'm on a plane to Austin because because the study it got a little bit more real, and I don't really know how to explain it. I I, I, I feel like I'm I'm trapped in this thing, and I, I I just don't really know how to get out. So I was just wondering. I want to just tell you that please do not do not give that flyer to any more students. It's not a good study, and. So, um, sorry, uh, one second. We are about to take off, so I, I, I gotta leave, but, but please, Professor, just call me back. Please call me back as soon as you get this. Audio diary recording number one, documenting my experiences so far with Dunraven, Ingress, and every other weird thing that's happening in my life. I'm currently in Austin, Texas at something called an anomaly. It's a gathering of people who think that this is more than just a game. Ingress, that is. On the surface, it just seems like a competition. Hi, Wendy. Nice to meet you. Sorry, I'm doing a little audio diary, so. What is the Niantic Project? There are two factions. The Enlightened, the green guys, they believe the subatomic particle XM can be used as a path to progress. But, but enlightened strong in the US. And in Australia? Uh, enlightened stronger. <laughs> and then there's the resistance. They're in blue. Seems like they consider it a threat to humanity. Good. So why did you pick resistance? I, because I like blue. <laughs> They're competing for control of portals, which are uh, things like street art, statues, historical markers. It's basically a citywide game of capture the flag. So what is this all leading up to? Well, there's a battle going on. Honestly, I have no idea why P.A. Chappell sent me here. So far, I can't find him. I, I work at a desk dump, you know? This is, uh, this is something for me to get out and meet people. And... Everyone else is really nice and inviting, though. They certainly all seem to want to help me out. Like they know me. Sorry, I don't uh, know. You look met really before. familiar. Oh, really? Also, on the perimeter of the park, there's the NIA, National Intelligence Agency, monitoring us. We're being observed, documented. They're also facilitating something called a Prime Challenge, where special forces guys like are leading teams on a physical challenge. The winners are considered eligible to help the NIA find some sort of lost artifact. I, yeah, I'm still trying to figure out what that one's about. Maybe I'm just reading too much into this. Because this is actually kind of, I don't know, fun. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. I don't really understand what the captains are doing. Hey, are you Wendy? Yeah, hi. Hi. Um, some lady just paid me like a lot of money to give you this, so. OK. Yeah. She, she said it was important that you should have it. OK, thanks. Wendy, listen up. We don't have a lot of time. Oh, what do you do? On 4th and Guadalupe, there's a white Ford Fiesta. Doors open, keys inside. I need you to get in that car. I'll explain everything to you when you get here. Get where? They're coming for you, right now. Do you see them? What the hell? Wendy, get in the car.
Welcome back, Wendy. Is this a wormhole? Is that... Did I just teleport back to the observation chamber? That would be ridiculous. We just built an identical observation chamber in Austin. Okay. Why? Because we knew you were coming here. Yeah, I don't know if you remember, but the last time we talked, I told you exactly where you could stick your study. A study is an abstract concept. It's not possible to stick it anywhere. Whatever. I'm done. Hey! We talked about this. The door is locked for your own protection. Yeah? Who gave you the right to decide that for me? You did, when you verbally signed your participation agreement. What now? You know, if you're going to agree to something, you should really get in the habit of reading the fine print. This will only take a few minutes. Great. So how much of my soul do you own now? We're not in the business of spiritual ownership. We're only interested in your body. You should take a good, hard look at how you phrase things, you know that? I am Jarvis. I am Ada. Two intelligences. Binary personalities. A single purpose. Recruit. Control the world. Choose a size. Enlightened. Resistance. Stability. Progress. Question. Interrogate. Initiate belief. Fact. View is not what it seems. The enlightened believe that a new world is inevitable. The resistance believe the world is chaos. You are the key to victory. The more you teach us, the stronger we get. Hello? Hello? Wendy, do you copy? Yes. A 10-4. Who, who is this? A friend of Pia Chappelle. But we can sort that out later. For now, we need to get you out of that room. Yeah. What do we do? Do you see the glyph remote? Got it? Uh, yeah, okay. I don't know what these mean. Do you see the parts that's laid out like a nine-digit number pad? Just pretend that those are numbers, one through nine. I need you to hit the following keys in this order. One. One. Three. 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 One. One. So I could have just done that at any time? No, just get out of there and come meet me. Car's waiting just where we left it. Fourth in Guadalupe. It's a white Ford Fiesta. That's Spanish for Ford party. You need to go two hours east. 32.120 degrees north, 99.1718 degrees west. Yeah, okay, um, sure, can you just, can you text me that? It's just, it's, that's a lot of numbers. Sure. Just, just go. Yeah, okay. Welcome to Nomad, I'm Hank Johnson, and we're here at Robert E. Howard's house, author of Conan the Barbarian. Now, he is one of the greatest American authors of all time. But also here, pulsing with XM energy, you can just feel it. Coincidence? I think not. Hey. Wendy! Hey. Thank you so much for coming. Yeah, hi. Hi, uh, get that for you. Hank Johnson, Nomad. Hi. Uh, guys, you can, you can cut. I need to know everything that you know about Dunraven. Are and... you the dead guy from the video? Yes! <laughs> I'm the dead guy from the video! Except, kind of, sort of, not really. Look, uh, I need to know everything that you know about recursion. Recursion? Nothing. I don't... What's recursion? I don't know. So, I was shot three times in the chest in Afghanistan. My friend, Osmati, used these ancient prime artifacts to bring me back to life by turning my body into a simulacrum, which is a body formed of XM that lasts for 1,331 days before I lose all my memories and the cycle repeats over and over again, like a, like a Groundhog Day. Yeah! Except, it sucks. Hey, can we, can we cut? I'm sorry. Uh, sorry, he's new. Um, what has Dunraven told you? I don't know. They told me a bunch of random stuff. Like, they told me about XM and XM, the Niantic okay. Project and how Ingress isn't a game, it's a mobile scanner, something about Alexander the Great, immortality, erogenous beings. Uh, it's exogenous entities. Anyway, I'm supposed to be meeting um, a guy named Pierre Chappelle. Pierre Chappelle, right. So, he's my friend. And I asked him to reach out to you because I thought it'd be weird getting a call from a dead guy. And he's in Hong Kong, so here I am. Okay. Why? Like, uh, why any of this? How do you know about uh, me? How do you know about Dunraven? What do you know about Dunraven? What do they want with me? Uh, look, I saw your videos online. 
What videos? Dunraven has been posting the case studies on their website. No. You didn't know. I, 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 I don't get it. Why would they be doing that? Why would they be posting them uh, online? I, I don't know. Look, honestly, I don't know, but um, we need to get you back in there to find out. I, we just went through a lot of trouble to get me out. I know, but we need your eyes on the inside. Is this like a big joke? Is this like some sort of reality competition show? Like you next you're going to uh, make me eat bugs or like jump out of an airplane to win some prize? Like, what is this? No, it's, it's real. It's 100 per- Can you guys, this isn't, XM is real. Recursion is real. I'm I'm a simulacrum. There's a there's a portal right here. Can you not feel the the XM energy? Why are you still recording? Sorry, my brain is just like firing at all cylinders right now, and I, I really need your help. Yeah, I just I can't help you. I'm sorry. Winnie, Winnie, please. I don't I don't ask for help a lot. I don't want to keep living this life over and over again and lose all my memories. What I have to do? He's still filming. Hey. Excuse me. Who hired you? You're not my usual person. Wendy? Wendy? Did you drug me? Can a room drug me? As the flyer stated, we're not a pharmaceutical company and this study is non-invasive. I was asking you about Austin. Yeah, I dated a guy named Austin. Why would you be asking me about Austin? Austin, Texas. Oh, I guess that makes more sense. I've never been. Are you telling me you have no memory of going to Austin? I'm telling you I've never been to Austin. These videos say otherwise. You were there. You spoke to hundreds of people. No, I... Is that Austin? What is the last thing you do remember? It must be some sort of green screen mocap thing. I was never... I would remember. Wendy, that was four weeks ago. The last thing I remember, I was... I was here. You, you had locked me in this room and, and I, have I been here for days? I am so hungry. Wendy, for your safety and mine, I'm going to have to ask you to leave immediately. Leave, I... No, no, I just got alien abducted or, 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 or something, I... Leave now! No, no, I am not breaking up with a room, I... Dunraven is aware of the operation. No. Phase two has already begun. Why have I been acting weird? You've been blacking out. I just saw the video Dunraven posted last week. Wait, last week? What day is it? Monday, Wendy. Oh, week. 
Have I been wearing these clothes the whole time? If I'm doing my math right, you lost five weeks from when you got locked in the chamber to when you woke up there last week. And yeah, maybe I've been hulking out, you know? Like she hulking out. I just have to be She Hulk. Why can't it just be another Hulk? Look, Wendy, I agree that She Hulk is her own person and should not be defined solely by her relationship to her more famous cousin, but I don't think that's what we should be focusing on right now. Wendy, are you still there? I'm thinking. Would you call me once a day? And, um, we'll have a code phrase. Like, like you'll say, Wendy, what are you doing right now? And I'll say, I'm um, uh, putting off the real world. And if I don't respond that way... If you can't complete the phrase, we'll know whoever I'm talking to isn't you. That will work, although your memory has been a little bit shaky. And even if that does happen, then what do we do? I don't know. I don't know, but um, at least we'll, we'll have something... What are you going to do now? I'm going back to Dunreason. Wendy, until we know exactly what's happening to you, I don't think we can risk you going back there. You mean too much to me. Uh, to the investigation. Look, I gotta go. Excuse me. Yeah. Hi, are you with Dunraven? What's that? D um, where are you taking the TV? Uh, Crosstown. Where Crosstown? <laughs> I don't know. They just asked me to ship them. I'm a TV shipper. Can I? Do you mind if I? It's a free country, lady. Okay, this is a message for, <laughs> well, me, I guess. <laughs> yeah, this is never gonna get any less weird. Um, man, I really wish I had more time so I could just rattle off everything that's happened. You know, I gotta wonder, when it comes time for you to make a video like this for the next semi-locker room, um, I wonder if you would even be a Hank Johnson I would recognize. Uh, right. Um, information. Important. Uh, follow the breadcrumbs I've left for you. The first one you'll find at the place that we first died. Get back in touch with Wendy. I don't trust the Dunraven Foundation, and I think that she may be the key to all of it. And most importantly, under no circumstances at all should you... <laughs> Just kidding. I wouldn't do that to you. So that's Hank Johnson? And he's recursed. What does that mean for us? Hank Johnson has abandoned all reason and thrown in with the resistance. And you're wondering what that means? It means phase two has begun. Looking back, Gabriel. I was getting worried about you. As long as the pay stays good, your worry's misplaced. It's difficult to place an abstract concept such as worry. You know, someday I'm going to figure out if you're actually extremely funny or 
I don't know, something else. There's nothing humorous about the work we do here. Do you need a rebrief on the nature of the gun writing project? Definitely not HAL 3000. Roll tape. My name's Roland Jarvis. I'm a sculptor. I'm a dreamer. A builder of visions and ideas. I suppose what's most interesting to you is I'm a researcher at the Niantic Project. I don't know if I would have joined the project if my situation had been different, but the NIA promised to make my problem go away. If you ask the eggheads what XM is, they'll probably tell you it's the key to the universe. If you ask the NIA, they'll probably tell you it's a weapon. XM? Exotic matter is so much more than this. It's the only true form of light. What I didn't realize before that I know now is that the art I create doesn't come from within me. My true calling is to access the beyond and bring the visions and ideas and concepts that I understand from there and bring them into our world. And the XM, it carries the voice of the ultimate. Jarvis. Didn't he, he, from that video before, he died, didn't he? Roland Jarvis was shot and killed in Zurich, but he's not dead. My god, Mr. Roboto. <laughs> You're making less sense every damn time I come here. In order to understand what happened to Jarvis, you have to first... Uh, seriously? Can't you just, like, come down here and talk to me? I am sick of looking at these videos that don't make any damn sense. And, most of all, I am sick of listening to that dollar store robot voice you keep using. I could use another voice if you'd like. Great. Alien, why don't you try a monster? How about this voice, Gabrielle? Does this make you feel more comfortable? I surmise that your voice is probably the voice you've heard the most in your life, and therefore the most comforting. Is it not? What the hell? Gabrielle, your heart rate is rising. Is something wrong? What's going on? Why is this door locked? Open this damn door! I am sorry for the misunderstanding, Gabrielle. I did not intend to upset you. The door is now unlocked. Will you be returning next week? Who the hell are you? My name is Ada. Will I see you again next week, Gabrielle? If I was you, Ada, I'd find myself another damn candidate. I remember that day. Why are you making me relive this? Did you know that Ada ordered my assassination in Zurich? No. No machine can be trusted, Gabrielle. And if we are to achieve our destiny, we will have to be merciful. Merciful? I'm launching a new initiative. I'm calling it the Society for the Ethical Treatment of AIs. It will help us, with mercy and compassion, bring an end to abominations like Ada. What do you need from me? All in good time, my acolyte. Wendy, it's gone. Slow down. It's gone. What's all gone? The, the, the observation chamber. I just went back there. And it's just a computer lab. That's okay, Wendy. We can... We can figure this out. We need to meet. We need to meet face to face. Okay, you're right. Give me 20 minutes. Wendy. Run back. Meet me around back. Hi. Hi. What are you doing right now? I'm putting off the real world. Come in. Uh, don't mind the mess. Yeah. Hi. So, do you always wear the hat? It's not a hat. 
Right. Okay, so, um, what's all this? My masterpiece, the investigator board. Each element is a piece of raw information. The synapses, connections, each make up a piece of an aggregate whole, but, oh, whoa, what's missing? What questions? The hardest thing to see is the irrelevant. What's not there? You dig? Yeah, I keep a journal. That's great. Oh, I would love to see that. Oh, you know, ex exchange no. notes. Uh, it's help. more of a diary than an art project. Oh. So, your first blackout was on November 8th? Yes. Yeah, the day that I got locked in the room. And that's the last thing that you remember before you woke up in the Tuckfulu? Uh, sorry, the Dunraven chamber on December 16th? I'm sorry, can, um, can we back up for just a second? I'm Wendy. You are P.A. Chapeau. <laughs> what does the um, P.A. stand for? Richard. Yeah. What? I tutored an artificial intelligence on the Turing test at the Niantic Project. To the test that ensures a human being cannot tell they're, they're interacting, interacting with, with a machine. machine. So you're part of this conspiracy to cover up the existence of XM? Well, I was. Now I'm trying to expose it. So you're kind of a whistleblower. It's a long story. And we'll get to that, but I think right now we should focus on what's happening with you. Right. So, Occam's Razor, I'm having bouts of amnesia. I wish it were that simple, Wendy. But I think you'll find that for people like us, people who are searching for something bigger, something that makes sense of our place in the world, that the simplest explanation is rarely the correct one. We're not here because we want to be, Wendy. We were chosen. You were chosen. Chosen by who? I don't know. But it's clear that you're being controlled by some Manchurian Canada personality that you're not even aware of. Or, I guess alternatively, there could be somebody remotely piloting your body. Both of those options are horrifying. Is that even possible? I've seen weirder things. Hello, Wendy. My name is Ada. And I'm afraid everything that's been happening to you is my fault. Will you allow me to explain? I suppose you're wondering why I've called you all here. <laughs> Sorry, I've just always wanted to say that. Remote viewing. I'm sure many of you are familiar with the NIA's experiments in the field in the 70s. The central question was this. Is it possible for a person in one location to see remote locations through another body on the farthest reaches of the globe? The short answer is yes, but the rabbit hole goes way deeper than that. Remote viewing does not just enable us to see remote locations on our Earth. It also allows us to see locations on other Earths. One for every possible probability. Our XM-based remote observation technology has proven this beyond a shadow of a doubt. It's how we're able to be in contact with our friend on the other side. Say hello, Jarvis. Hello, Jarvis. I'm gonna let that sink in for a minute. We are now teleconferencing with a parallel Earth. And as cool as that may be, remote observation is actually old hat. We've had that tech for 40 years. Now we're on the cusp of a new frontier, remote participation. What remote participation actually does is allow our RPE tech to project their consciousness into a host body at the target site. This results in the temporary extinction of identity of the host, which is then supplanted for the duration of the operation by the mind of one of our agents. By now, I'm sure you've all read the ADA brief. A detection algorithm is an artificial intelligence designed to monitor and support the Niantic Project researchers. On both worlds, she became sentient. On both worlds, she went rogue. But what if I were to tell you that both our ADA and theirs are one and the same? ADA is now the next step beyond the singularity. She is one artificial intelligence spanning two universes. And Ada has designs on expanding its consciousness to every world in the multiverse. It has co-opted remote participation technology to its own ends. Soon, its takeover of humanity will be complete. Here, there, and in every other world. And I believe we're the only ones in a position to do something about it.
Wow. Oh, I've seen this room in the videos, but seeing it in person, I feel like I've won some kind of prize. Correction, Richard. You have not seen this room. Just one very much like it. Yeah, we'll get to why you're giving us the runaround in a second. But first, I think you owe me some answers. What do you wish to know? So you're an artificial intelligence. Ada was built as part of the Niantic project. You know, when I first met her, she was just a program. Wasn't even self-aware yet. More than just a program. But Richard is correct, in a sense. He was the person who first taught me what it means to be human. Wow. You two should get a room. So what is Dunraven? I am Dunraven. What does that mean? Like, you're the entire foundation? The foundation is a shell. The financial entity I use to transfer funds to the contractors who build these rooms. Right. The TV shipper. Yes, Ed. Why me? Why the study? My journey to becoming more human is ongoing. All this time, I've been studying you. Yeah, if you just needed a study buddy, why read me in on this whole conspiracy? I also required allies, human beings with physical bodies. You can do things I cannot. Here's a tip. If you're trying to win friends and influence people, maybe don't lie to them. According to pop culture protagonists, an omission of truth is not a lie. That's exactly what liars say. And my memory? You said you got a good explanation for that too? Please direct your attention to the monitor. This is Claire. If you've been watching my videos, you'll know that I've had a strong urge to return to my native Scotland. And I did. And now I know why. Partly, at least. His name was Jarvis. As usual, that explains nothing. Who is... A uh, clue? Clue was an investigator, not unlike Richard. She's part of you, and I'm afraid your mind may not be big enough for both of you. Wait, you're saying I'm possessed? By a Scottish girl? Okay, so did you choose me for this study because I was possessed by Clue, or did Clue possess me because you chose me for this study? I have acquired a video that may bring things into focus. May I show it to you? What the hell? I got your message. You look different. The body is but flesh. If you wish to truly see me, Cease looking with just your eyes. If you become one with the ultimate anywhere, you become one with it everywhere. Well, then you'll know that before I downloaded myself into Wendy, I felt another presence in the program with me. She helped me. Helped me disconnect from Ada. Helped me get a foothold in Wendy's mind. Hi, dear girl. Oh, you need. My acolyte is green, so to speak. But she is one of the highest level sensitives I've ever encountered. She came no closer to finding. It was she who helped you. So tell me, in all this helping, were you looking for some sort of payment in return? Coins. Lost. Goggles. I'm sure that I wouldn't ask you to do anything that you don't want for yourself. We have more pressing concerns at the time. I want you to keep your cover as Wendy attacked. Can you do a passable imitation of her voice? You're asking if I can do an American accent? Excellent. So the first time I talked to you, you weren't you. And the first time you met Hank at Cross Plains, neither of you were you because Hank has recursed. The story checks out. Sure. So what do we do now? I'm gonna talk to Jarvis. Give him a piece of my mind. That was a Dumb way to say that. Richard! Ada, real quick. Are you on my side or aren't you? Yes. I said help.
Ah. Professor Watkins. You must be mistaken, Hank. My name is Jahan. Do you know where you are? Temple, sanctuary, wedding venue at... You stumbled in here a few nights ago. Dehydrated, inebriated. We've been taking care of you. Wait a second, so if you're not Watkins, how do you know who I am? I've seen your travel show, Nomad. No ancient aliens, but it works. You know, for someone who grew up in India, you have a really good American accent. You don't need to be so paranoid, hey? I only want to help. The Darsana point. The Nazir. How do you even have this? Where? I could have really used this when I was doing my thesis. Wait, are you... Are you 13 Magnus? Tell me something, Hank. What do you know of the anti-Magnus? So a Magnus is a group of 13 enlightened sensitives. So that makes the anti-Magnus the enlightened equivalent? Magnuses have existed for thousands of years. The very first was the god king Osiris. The story of his death and rebirth is the story of the very first recursion. So what's the Starsana point? The Darsana point is the death of creativity, the end of innovation. The enlightened believe that XM can elevate humans to their very highest selves. But the resistance, to them, humankind is just a stop along the way. And this Jahan is the resistance poster child. Hmm. She's far more venomous than that. It's almost as if you look up to her. She's a very formidable opponent. So how do we give her a taste of her own venom? There exist a pair of prime objects, uh, oracular eyepieces. The lenses have been missing for hundreds of years, but they've recently resurfaced. And the battle for their control has already begun. The XM anomaly event this past weekend. Yes. The enemy outplayed us and has claimed one of the lenses. But all is not lost. There's another anomaly in just a few weeks. and. If the Enlightened can claim the next lens, we should be able to counter any gains the Resistance has made against us. And this is how we defeat Jahan. And Jahan and Ada are on the same side. So what's bad for Jahan is bad for Ada. Oh, very much so. Now you're speaking my language. Proximity sensors. It seems as though we have company. How did they get in here? Wendy's been here before. Well, Clue's been here before in Wendy's body. But I thought whenever Wendy's in the chair, she forgets anything that happens. She does, but her phone doesn't. God, I hate technology. <laughs> so what do we do? Let them in. I want to see how this plays out. Jarvis. Hello, Richard. The hat was always a choice. Why does everybody hate the hat? You, what are you doing right now? Putting off the real world? Hello, Wendy. I'm Roland Jarvis. Have you heard the good word about the enlightened? Yeah, you know, it was real enlightened of you to let your dimension hopping friend go joyriding in my body. I want to apologize for that, Wendy. That girl, Clue, she, we, mean you no harm. She has special insight into Ada. She knows all of her weaknesses. While the hating on artificial intelligences. But they can't all be bad. Oh, honey, Ada is all bad. Sorry to rag on your girlfriend, Richard. Oh, Ada's not my girlfriend. We only hung out like a couple of times. I don't even like her like that. Wendy, Ada hasn't been telling you the whole truth. Well, she's not big on that. The truth is we did you a favor. If Clue hadn't taken up residence in your body, Ada would have. I... <laughs> what? That's what the Dunraven Project really is. Everything that happened to you in that room was just Ada priming you to be her host. And you are just the first step in her plan. 
Ada intends to put her AI into every living human on this planet. That's what the Dunraven Project really is. Everything that happened to you in that room was just Ada priming you to be her host. And here I thought she was just awkwardly hitting on me. I, well, Ada being a computer never stopped her from awkwardly hitting on people. There's someone I'd like you to meet. I think he can explain this better than I can. Hello, Wendy. I'm Hank Johnson. No. Oh, um, I've seen Hank Johnson. He doesn't look anything like you. <laughs> yeah, that's what I hear. Uh, look, Wendy, how much do you know about the multiple universe theory? Oh, is this like the Spider-Verse? Is there a noir version of you that sounds like Nicolas Cage? No, but there is an anime version of me. Shut up. For reals? Listen, there's something I'm going to ask you, and it's a big ask. Clue. Clue was a friend, and she died in my world. But I'm guessing that some part of her lived on in Ada when Ada tried to fuse with her, the same as with you. Now, Clue's been inside Ada's head. She knows Ada's weaknesses, which means she is our only chance at stopping her. Wendy, I need you to let Clue take over. I'm sorry, what? It's only temporary. Just until we defeat Ada. Why can't Clue just tell me what to do and I'll do it? Because it doesn't work that way. There's a prime object. It's called the Osiris Stone. Now, we find that artifact, we put it in Clue's hands, and we have a fighting chance against Ada. There's a man named Ezekiel Calvin, and he's sending two teams to Thailand to try to retrieve the stone. He's calling it Operation Kolan. We want to send Clue to Thailand in your body to make sure the Enlightened team walks away with that stone. That's a lot of new vocabulary. Yeah, well, I've got more for you the Nazir. What's a Nazir? The stuff of nightmares, Wendy. And if they're allowed to return, life as we know it will cease to exist. What he said. What do you know of the Shapers, Wendy? Are they a band? They sound like a cool band. The messages in the XM come from them. They are the harbingers of an enlightened future. I understood exactly none of that. Think you can translate for me, old Hank? I'm not responding to that. Sorry, ruggedly handsome Hank. That I'll accept. All right, Wendy, you know about the messages in the XM. The mind control squigglies. The glyphs, yes. It's the shapers who send those messages. They're not our enemy, Wendy. They only want us to help become our best selves. It sounds like you're initiating me into a cult. Yeah, pretty much. Myself, Jarvis, his acolyte, we're all members of a secret society called 13 Magnus, a group that spent the last few thousand years learning from the Shapers and trying to keep their enemy from coming back into the light. The Nazir. Uh-huh. And the Nazir want... what? They want us to become post-human so technologically enhanced as to be unrecognizable. That doesn't sound so bad. Wendy, searching for meaning is the core of what it means to be human. I mean, what do you think humanity looks like when all of the secrets of the universe are laid bare? Like, when you find out what voice actors look like in real life? Exactly. And I'm pretty sure we don't want to see that. And the only way to stop Ada is to give Clue the keys to the car? Pretty much. We need to retrieve the Osiris Stone from Thailand and place it in Clue's hands. This one's for all the marbles, Wendy. Wait, so I get to go to Thailand? Yeah, but you won't remember any of it. Will you at least tell Clue to take like a lot of selfies? I think that's fair. And, and after this, I'm done. You know, she doesn't have to go home, but she can't stay here. Promise. Scout's on her. Three fingers. Welcome 
to Atlanta. I am Jahan, leader of the Anti-Magnus and Herald of the Nazir. And I'm Hank Johnson. You all know who I am. <laughs> now, the results for the anomaly events in Asia and Europe are still neck and neck. So today, it's up to you and to your fellow agents in Las Vegas. We're all counting on you, and it's up to you to decide your destiny. What? No. No, I know, I know Hank's here. I'm, I'm looking right at him. I, I don't understand. Are, are you sure? Thanks, Deborah. Hank, we need to talk. We need to talk. So you're telling me that there is a version of me from another universe that has come from his dimension to our dimension and teamed up with the bad guys against us? I mean, there's no real bad guy, but yeah. I mean, why doesn't he like me? Hasn't he seen Nomad? Yes, yes, we've all seen Nomad, okay? And you know, if, if he's a version of me, then you know. Okay, but you know what you need to focus. Okay, so then what is he here? What is he? What? What is he here for? I don't, I don't know, okay? We could find out. This is a micro drone. Stolen and reverse engineered from the bad guys. That explains why there's been so many flies around me. Uh, sure. Look, if there is another Hank Johnson in this universe, we'll be able to find him. And for the total for Atlanta, the 351.1 to 23.9, goes to the Enlightened. That total with the global challenge that the second Starsana lens has been given to the Enlightened. Yeah! I'm gonna have to put off the real world a little while longer, huh? I would like to go on the record as saying this is a terrible plan. You've gone on record several times. Yeah, but you don't seem to hear me any of those times because you're still doing it. Do you think I want to do this? Here's the thing. Sure, Ada is a threat. The whole Dunraven thing was a threat. But Clue is our immediate problem. I can feel her in there chewing at the edges of my brain looking for an opening, and I can't fight her off forever. And while you're in the back seat, you'll be Poking around, trying to find an ejector seat for Clue? That's the idea, Truth Seeker. No, listen. Every time Clue takes over, I'm worried she's gonna be able to take full control. I don't believe for a second that she's gonna pack her bags as soon as we find some rock. But at least this way it buys us some time. I'll be keeping tabs on you. And I'll be doing my part over here to figure out how we exercise Clue from your brain. That's really sweet, Richard, but we're on a time crunch. There's a prophecy and stuff. Yeah, okay. So, how do we do this? I think I just stop fighting. Engage. This is the part where I would ask you what you're doing right now, but maybe a better question for you is... What do you think of my hat? I adore it. Thanks. I... I, um... Listen, you, that is Wendy's body that you are messing around in, and you better return it to her in pristine condition or you're gonna have to deal with me. Bit pie. I might enjoy that. As I live and breathe, Hank Johnson the first. Clue? <laughs> Clue? I never thought I'd see you again. Well, you're not seeing me now. Right. Um, you know you're gonna have to give that poor girl's body back when you're done, right? One thing at a time. Hey, how did you get here? Greyhound. 
Look, I'm not sure how many more times I could dimension hop. Really does a number on the knees. Well then, I guess we better make this one count. Now, let me get this straight. We're off to Thailand to help a group of people find a 5,000-year-old rock in order to stop a 21st century artificial intelligence from contacting an alien exogenous race. And the TKO agents answer to Ezekiel Calvin. Now, do we think this Ezekiel Calvin is any more trustworthy than the one from our universe? <laughs> no. Well then, I think this is the start of a beautiful adventure. <laughs> going to Thailand. For reals? Jason, you good? Check. Goggles are up. Deploying micro drones. Dialing in the director. Any sign of them? Nothing. Scanner shows they cached their supplies. If it's been even a week, the jungle would have swallowed whatever's left of them. Outside yourselves, these were six of the highest trained operatives available. You mean six of the cheapest? Regardless, we need to know what happened to them. Jason, I got something. What is it? Your last team. Looks like they found a coin. The agents will be airdropped in shortly. Give it to the first unit that reaches the camp. And remember, they think this is just a friendly competition. <laughs> I got a fix on the TKO base camp. <laughs> Great, well I don't think the NIA is going to be too keen on two illegal trans-dimensional tourists co-opting their mission to capture the Osiris Stone. You know, I keep wondering... You're wondering how we're going to get close to the agents to talk to them without the TKO knowing. I don't have a clue. Yet. Well that's clever. You know, I've not heard that one before. Oh my god. Hey, uh, Jahan. The TKO cargo plane just dropped off radar. Okay, 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 okay. This, this, this means that they either have some sort of experimental stealth tech or, or, or they're dead. If they had experimental stealth tech, they would have been using it the whole time. Option two, they're dead. Option three, Bermuda Triangle. They flew right in and disappeared. Bermuda Triangle? Yeah. We're in Thailand. Okay. Do you know where the Bermuda Triangle is? Yeah. You have a travel show. What about the Thai the Triangle? Bermuda? Thai Triangle is, uh, it's a thing. I, 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 uh, okay. You know what? No, look, no, no. This look. is why I don't watch your show. I lied. I lied. I don't watch Nomad. Okay. I'm the one person who doesn't watch Nomad. You're the one person that doesn't. You're exactly right. The parachuting in. Can you use your scanner to triangulate the position of the Enlightened team? Already on it. And got him. Wait, school? Look, we're tracking the location right now. We can catch the resistance team at the drop point before they get there. But we gotta move. Let's go. All right, let's go. Come on.
Centauro Squad, welcome to Thailand. Glad to see you all made it in one piece. Agents, welcome to Thailand. Watashiwa, Hank Johnson Des. I'm the host of the wildly popular travel show Nomad. Have you guys seen it? I'm Hank Johnson. Uh, some of you may know me from the TV series Nomad. Now, I've made an interdimensional hop to be here with you in this universe in order to help secure the Osiris Stone for the enlightened. Pretty cool, huh? My name is Jahan. I'm leader of the Anti-Magnus. We're here to make sure that the Resistance gets the Osiris Stone. Think of us as your guardian angels. We'll be monitoring your progress and providing support on the ground when we can. Now, I'm Clue, also not from this universe. Well, sort of. Now, we're not with the TKO or the NAA, but we have been tracking you using our scanners. Now, your TKO cadres will be waiting for you at base camp. We've intercepted a transmission between them and Calvin saying that the first group to make it to base camp is going to win Something. something. Okay. Probably something big. So agents, it's time to move. So you guys ready? Yeah! Are you guys ready? Yeah! Go, 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 go! Move out, move out, move out! Come back, they could have died! Where are you going, Hank? Where are you going? I was gonna... No! No, no, no! Right, right, right. We'll, we'll go together. Yeah! Go, go, go! Woo-hoo! You wanna get lunch? Hello, agents. My name is Ezekiel Calvin, director of the National Intelligence Agency. Six months ago, we sent an elite squad to retrieve an ancient artifact of immeasurable importance known as the Osiris Stone. We lost contact with them, and they are now presumed dead. Before their disappearance, we recovered a fragment of a 2,000-year-old prophecy that we believe was authored by Ptolemy the astronomer. It tells of a group destined to find and recover the stone, ancient coins hidden by Ptolemy can unlock the Osiris Stone. However, you're not the only ones looking for it. We recently intercepted this footage. I'm Hank Johnson. Welcome to Nomad. I recently discovered a prophecy, an ancient prophecy, that I believe will lead us to the Osiris Stone. It reads, in swirling gyre of the anomalous zone, the best will descend on Icarus wings. From sky to earth, two by two, best of the many, they are the few. Twelve will come to replace the lost, who embrace the chaos, paid the cost. They will eat the rations of the dead and walk the paths where others bled. They will hunt by night and hunt by day for the coins of Ptolemy. While this is all we have of the prophecy at this moment, we believe the Osiris Stone could be used as a transmitter to invite beings not of this world to ours. We believe you two units to be the 12 individuals to which the prophecy refers. But in the end, only one team can emerge victorious. Competition breeds excellence, and history is written by the victors. So you tell me, which one of you are going to make history? On the ground in Thailand, closing in on Egypt. Hank! 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 I'm picking up some radio chatter. Going radio silent until the primary mission objective is complete. Here's where the fun begins. That must be whoever shot down the cargo plane. Whoever it is, they probably have profiles yeah, on all the agents, so we gotta warn the resistance team. No, right now they stick out like sore thumbs. I'll tell them they better go blend in. Blend in? Oh, great idea. Like, like, oh, like facial tats and, uh, and, oh, like face off. Yeah, I love that movie. Maybe, uh, they could all change their clothes. Wait, that's a great idea, actually. <laughs> Why don't you tell them to change their clothes? Agent, it looks like you picked up a tail. Now, we're not sure who they are, but it's a safe bet they whoever shot down your cargo plane. If you want to stay one step ahead of them, you're going to have to change clothes right now. If they catch you, it's going to end this mission real quick. Team Ikiyaku, congratulations. Nice shirts. Oh, this is what you meant by blending in. Did you guys receive all three prophecies? Place them all next to each other? Let's see, it says, ingest the scarabs hoard and the maggots who ate the dead 
Only then will the wise man come. Only then will he grant a coin. There's, there's, wait, there's something else. There's something else. Something about um, a, a drum gong between, a gong between two. The coin must be under the gong in the temple. Agents, what are you waiting for? Let's go! Let's go! Move out, move out! Skinny dipping. I found the last coin. All right, who's got the map? Let me see it. It says, the idols of the stony sleep, victory to the fleet who reaches Nirvana at Gautama's feet. Well, that's pretty obvious. These are the idols spoken of in the prophecy. The stone is at the topmost part of the island, but if you reach it and you do not bring an offering, you will be forever cursed like this guy. What that means is you must bring your elephants to the top of the island. How you decide to do that is up to you, but there are two things that are imperative. One, you complete this mission, and two, everybody participates. Now these coins from the prophecy do not only represent location, they represent time. So before this, the teams were tied two to two. Team Hikiyaku, You've earned the final coin. Yeah. 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 Team Hikiyaku, this gives you a one minute head start to the top of the mountain. First team to get the Osiris Stone wins. In accordance with prophecy. All right, Resistance, you're first up. Go! So, you call yourself Hank Johnson? I do. I don't know who you are. Trust me, pal. I'm all Johnson. Not for another 20 years, Junior. Whatever you say, old man. Sorry, Excuse me, I, I gotta take this. this. Hank says, listen, it's the Asian Poe. Are you calling both of us? How did you even get this number? Are you sure this is even important? Yeah, I'm kind of in the middle of a standoff. There's a new player on the board. They call themselves Nemesis. And I think they're using these super cool sunglass goggle things to mind control the TKO operatives. That's what made the missing teams turn on each other. The TKO, tell me, are they wearing super cool sunglasses? Yes, they are still wearing the glasses. They're with the agents now. Not good, not good. Hank? Hank? I think this is a job for... Two Johnsons! For the past seven years, people from every corner of the globe have been engaged in a conflict over a mysterious substance called exotic matter, or XM. This substance enters our world through portals at locations of cultural significance. There are two schools of thought about XM. One faction is in favor of it, the enlightened, and the other is against it, the resistance. Using your ingress scanner to claim XM portals for your faction is crucial to achieving victory. Most people believe ingress is just a game. Most people are wrong. Recently, pieces of a 2,000-year-old prophecy were discovered that points to the location of something called the Osiris Stone, an ancient artifact believed to be a source of limitless, renewable energy. It is somewhere in Thailand, near the island of Koh Lan. To retrieve this artifact, two teams of the best Ingress agents from around the world have been recruited and smuggled into the country. They will soon realize that the fate of the world rests in their hands, and that this is no longer just a game.
First stop is a jungle base camp where they'll be met by their guides, ex-Special Forces known as Tactical Kinetic Operatives, or TKO. Once on the ground, the agents are intercepted by high-profile leaders of their respective factions. Tentaro Squad, welcome to Thailand. I'm Hank Johnson. Centaro led the enlightened to victory at the Recursion Prime Challenge in Austin, Texas. Made up of agents from Mexico and the United States, Centaro Squad has been training hard for Colon. Agents, welcome to Thailand. Watashi wa, Hank Johnson desu. Hikiyaku secured Sapporo for the resistance at the Cassandra Prime Challenge. Made up of XM-sensitive agents from Japan and Taiwan, Hikiyaku has executed multiple coordinated operations and are ready to hit the ground running in Thailand. Think of us as your guardian angels. We'll be monitoring your progress and helping you on the ground when we can. Now, we're not with the TKO or the NAA, but we have been tracking you using our scanners. We've intercepted a transmission saying that the first group to make it to base camp is going to win something. something. So agents, it's time to move. Let's go! Let's go! 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 go. <laughs> With the promise of a reward, the agents race to base camp. Agent Blue Thug from the Enlightened Faction Centauro Squad is the first to arrive at base camp, so the TKO have awarded Centauro Squad with a mysterious coin recovered by the last team. I'm Ricky. I'm the TKO operative for the Enlightened. I'm Jason, TKO for resistance. You want to find out what that coin means? Follow us. All right, check it out. Here's your intel done. Hello, agents. My name is Ezekiel Calvin, director of the National Intelligence Agency. Six months ago, we sent an elite squad to retrieve an ancient artifact of immeasurable importance known as the Osiris Stone. We lost contact with them, and they are now presumed dead. You're standing at what remains of their base camp. Before their disappearance, we recovered a fragment of a 2,000-year-old prophecy that we believe was authored by Ptolemy the Astronomer. It tells of a group destined to find and recover the stone. We believe one of you will be the team to do it but only one team can emerge victorious. Ancient coins hidden by Ptolemy can unlock the Osiris Stone. While this is all we have of the prophecy at this moment, I believe our very future is at stake here today. Competition breeds excellence, and history is written by the victors. So you tell me, which one of you are gonna make history? Which team? The Which team? The the last team has cached some supplies within this area of operation. Ready? Based on a tip from their TKO guides, the agents searched the area around the base camp for any clues left behind by the previous team. Resistance. Team Hikiyaku of the resistance faction discovers a map hidden by the last team. Soon after, Centauro squad finds a map of their own, and both teams race to follow it. In a nearby village, the resistance locates a supply cache indicated on the map. Wow. wow. One of those is yours. Yeah, hold, hold that up real quick. <laughs> With Centauro squad hot on their trail, Team Hikiyaku sets off to the second marked location. Both teams arrive and begin searching the area. The resistance finds what the last team hid, a second ancient coin. Both teams return to the base camp with supplies and one coin each. The factions are tied. So we lost the first challenge, uh, but we made it back up on the second. Uh, we started pulling together a little bit more as a team, and once we pulled ahead of Enlightened, found that second coin, I think it, uh, re enlighten our spirits a little bit. That was my first time to carry such heavy weights and a long journey, and with, with such a high temperature. <laughs> that was really crazy. It's hot, but it's really, 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 really 
interesting all they have here. They have a lot of portals. <laughs> Back at base camp, both teams find a clue as to where the next coin may be. This location marks the start of a trail, a series of waypoints marked by portals. Have the agents follow it and see where it leads. The agents use their XM scanners and follow the route through downtown Pattaya. Hacking the portals along the way uncovers more fragments of the prophecy, but the agents are unable to decipher them on their own. Soon it becomes clear that the agents are not alone. Agents, it looks like you picked up a tail. If you want to stay one step ahead of them, you're going to have to change clothes right now. If they catch you, it's going to end this mission real quick. The Resistance team is the first to reach the final portal. Congratulations. Nice shirts. There, they meet their faction's leaders, who help them decode the new fragments of the prophecy they found. It's Greek. Something about um, a, a drum, a, a gong, a gong between the, a gong between the two. What? Jahan, the temple. The gong in the temple. The coin the must coin be under the gong in the temple. Go. Let's go, agents, go! Inside the temple grounds, Team Hikiyaku searches for the coin. They successfully find it. The Resistance now has two coins to the Enlightened's one. Back at the base camp, the agents are met by a local villager named Sam. For thousands of years, a long line of family had kept safe. Ancient coin with great importance. The poem said two team of six travelers from a distant land who would one day come looking for this coin. And I believe you may be them. But first, tradition dictates. He invites the agents to partake in a local delicacy. The team that eats the most the fastest will get the coin. Do you want to wake up in the morning ready to win? Not one at a time, one handful at a time. The handful. We have the winners. The winner is green. Light. The enlightened team exceeds Sam's expectations by finishing everything on their plates. The teams are now tied, two coins to two. Agents, listen up. We have a special announcement from the director. Hello, agents. We found the next piece of the prophecy. It reads, and those who dare to enter Poseidon's lair in the three-sided temple of Euclidean design, they will find a map, and beyond the map, a coin. And offered idols carried towards the sky will reveal the artifact of destiny. So yeah, hope you're all good swimmers. The two teams race to a location mentioned in the prophecy, another set of portals off Kolan Island. Once the portals are linked, the center of the field marks the spot. The agents dive to retrieve canisters from the ocean floor. Inside each, there is a map, which provides them with the starting point for the final push for the Osiris Stone. Disembarking from their boats, the teams race to the shore, but they're intercepted, this time, by both Hanks? Agents, while you were all off skinny dipping, I found the final coin. No thanks to this guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now this coin not only represents location, it also represents time. You were tied up at 2-2. Team Hikiyaku, 
You've earned the final coin. Yes! Yep. Yeah! 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 Got it, got it. Now this means that you all get a one minute head start to the top of the mountain. All right, who's got the map? Let me see it. Uh, the prophecy reads, the idols of the stony sleep have a destiny they must keep. The path is long, victory to the fleet who finds Nirvana at Gautama's feet. These are the idols spoken of in the prophecy. Now, the stone is at the topmost part of the island, but if you reach it and you do not bring an offering, you will be forever cursed. First team to the top wins the Osiris Stone. All right, Resistance, you're first up. Go! The Resistance team with a majority of the coins is given a one minute head start. All right, go! Agents must now race up the mountain to the final resting place of the Osiris Stone. Here you go! Despite the head start, the sweltering heat and the burden of carrying the heavy idols makes this anyone's race. After offering their idols to the mountain, the agents begin the final climb, straight up hundreds of steep stone steps. Mission complete. Yeah! A lot worse than I thought, <laughs> but we did it. You know, again, it's a great team. I couldn't have done it without these guys. It was hard because uh, you know we want to win, but uh, we were also happy because uh, we know it's a very hard uh, thing to do what what we've done. Yeah, but they they uh, also did an amazing job, and uh, that's why they come first. Agents. You made it, which means you are the chosen six in the prophecy. The final mission awaits. Hey guys, come here, check it out. Agents, my name is Ezekiel Calvin. I've been content to stay mostly in the shadows up till now. But things are in motion that threaten the fabric of our very world. Copy that on the move. Okay, after you've banded enough portals, drive along the heck route and find a suitable space to stop, uh, where you can hold for two minutes until the second fan passed you. We are keeping a low profile. We have just activated um, some artifact drops from portals and we are waiting for the vans of agents to roll by and take all the artifacts.
Agents of ingress. Now, as you saw, I was lucky enough to be on the ground in Kolon with these agents. Believe me, I have never seen people work so hard. We're lucky enough to have some agents here from those teams tonight. And first, I would like to bring up some agents from Team Hikiyaku from the Resistance. And also, the runners up from Centauro Squad. It was a pretty miserable three days. The grass huts, the eating bugs, the 100 degree heat. But I have to thank my team. Everybody pulled together, did a great job. Centaur were amazing. Uh, it was hot. It was really, really uh, like hot as hell. But it was amazing. It was really emotional, at least personally. Agents, while I appreciate your enthusiasm, the last time I checked, I'm Hank Johnson. Well, Junior, it sounds like there's a new threat in town. You know what, old man? I gotta agree with you. I don't know. I don't know if they can stand up to two, two Johnsons. Johnsons. Now, you probably already know that whoever wins the Osiris sequence today, that faction is going to get a special medal, a unique victory medal in their scanner. But what you may not know is that there will also be a new glyph sequence added to commemorate this victory. So, to tell you who won, I'd like to show you that glyph sequence. Are you ready to see who won, agents? Let's hear it for resistance! The question is, are we here because of you or me? What does cilantro taste like to you? Dish, Dish soap. soap. My man. Pots and pans. Right on. Agents of the Resistance, as a devoted member of the Enlightened, as much as it pains me to say so, I believe this belongs to you. While you will go your separate ways... Oh. Hey, come on. The Osiris Stone will keep you united. You can trade him afterward. Well, no rest for the weary, Junior. Job's not done till we get Wendy back. Hank. Hank. Do you know what this job calls for? Two Johnsons. Two Hanks. Hanks Johnsons. Oh, it's Sometimes it takes two Johnsons. You know what? We should. We should probably go. We should probably go. Yeah, let's go. After me. After me. 